Welcome, everyone. It's Brian Kenny. Welcome back to MLB Now Special Edition. We are pleased to be joined by a man we spent actually a lot of time on this show talking about in his Hall of Fame candidacy, We're pushing him and trying to get uh, him recognized by the writers. Last year, he finally became Hall of Famer Edgar Martinez, and he joins us now. Edgar, it's Brian Kenny. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Edgar, uh, let's start with, uh, we'll talk a little Hall of Fame, but first, better news emerging in the negotiations. What's your view from your vantage point about, about the way things have unfolded? Yeah, I'm uh, more encouraged uh, after I heard today that uh, potentially they're going to regain the uh, negotiations. Um, I think uh, it's, uh, you know, baseball, people are looking forward to baseball, especially with what's going on in the country. Uh, baseball always been a game that kind of unite uh, people. And plus it's summer, and it's, it's a, the summer game. and um, uh, people just need baseball right now. Yeah, I agree. It's, I was just thinking the other day, I mean, we've been through, you know, strike and stoppages way back when, but from the start of this season all the way now to June, um, I, I think a lot of people feel like they miss that rhythm of, of baseball. What, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, you're in, you've been playing baseball your whole life. What is it like being this far into the, the summer and, and no baseball? Yes. Um, uh, the summer kids, uh, everybody uh, know that uh, uh, that phrase and uh, uh, it's, it's, it's different. Uh, not watching baseball, the, the great players uh, of today's game. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's completely different. It, it's, uh, it feels like uh, we're missing something. Um, so I, I, I hope that uh, negotiations go well and we get uh, we start baseball again. And it seems, Edgar, that part of the proposal is, and I like the strategy of baseball with the pitcher hitting. I understand in these circumstances that it, with guys having a spring training, then they shut down, then they come back, probably does make sense to have universal DH, but it seems like that's coming through. You're a biased party as one of the all-time great DHs, of course, but what are your thoughts on DH in both leagues, which it seems like this is going to be the start of that? Yeah, I, I, I like it. I mean, I have my biases, you know, because uh, I, I did, I was a DH for a long time. Um, but I think that fans like to, to watch offense uh, and eventually, I mean, it's always the traditional fan that likes to see the, the pitcher hit, uh, you know, because it's more bond, it's more sort of, uh, strategies to the National League uh, game. But uh, uh, I think also, you know, the fans, uh, it's going to be a lot, a lot of fans would like to, to see the offense uh, and see the age in, in both leagues. Edgar, uh, you were inducted into the Hall of Fame last summer in Cooperstown. Um, you, and it's, we were just talking before we came on. Uh, this, when you do it, when you come back the next year after induction, is usually so relaxing in comparison. I, that it was postponed this year is is disappointing, but you were going, right? Were you coming this year? Yeah, I was planning to go. Um, my wife and I, we were uh, making plans uh, before uh, the pandemic, and uh, we're looking forward to, to be there in the summer. Uh, even it was uh, very busy for me last year, and uh, um, but we enjoy it. Uh, and uh, we were looking forward to it. Yeah, you can you could have rolled to this there. year. You will next year, right? It's it'll, because how much pressure do you feel? Even though it's all good, they're just honoring you. But what is it like to have to go through to not have to, but to be able to go through that process? You know, um, the process has start like months before. You're already thinking about it. How it's going to be? Uh, you have all these expectations and. Uh, you have these nervousness, uh, nervous, you feel nervous about it. Um, but it, it is a process that starts very early. When you get there, it's the three days that are uh, nonstop. You go with doing things. And at the same time, you, you're thinking about that speech and how it's going to be. And uh, uh, even you feel nervous, but when it's done, 
uh, it's a great feeling about it. You just feel great that uh, you went through it, um, and and you can you're able to relax. Well, you'll be able to experience it next year then, and uh, you know, relax, go there with your wife. You'll enjoy it for for years and years. Do you want to ask <laughs> Edgar about? Um, MLB Network is running a program on Junior Griffey. It's called Junior Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern on Ken Griffey Jr. You guys were the heart of that lineup, a fearsome lineup for the Seattle Mariners. Um, what was it like playing with Ken Griffey Jr.? And you saw him, you know, as a young kid when he was at his peak. What was that like? It was great. Uh, it was an honor to be, uh, you know, teamer, teammate uh, of Junior. Uh, one of the best players, uh, the best player I believe on the field and from the beginning he you could see he had the the five tool player he could do anything on the field from the beginning uh very beginning and uh you could tell that he was gonna have like a, a long great career and uh, uh very quickly he became one of the best players in the game um uh it was just amazing to watch it's almost like you know you look at Junior and you said, okay, he have five tool, tools, he have all the tools. But mm -hmm. he also had the, the sixth one that uh, it was the instinct on the field. And, you know, very few players have that. Did you guys ever talk hitting? I mean, you look very different as hitters, but did you guys ever discuss hitting? Not as much. Um, you know, Junior's mechanic was very simple. Uh, and um, he had in his mind, his approach, everything. And uh, we didn't get into deep conversations that much about hitting. Um, but in, you know, with Junior, you, you didn't need to talk too much about hitting. He, he was made at the game simple in, in his mind. And um, uh, I think that's, that's the way he thought of, of the game, make it simple. And for you, it was very different, you're saying? For you, it was much more analytical? Uh, I was more mechanical, uh, working more on my uh, mechanics. Uh, I wanted to perfect my mechanics as much as I could um, to just uh, in, in have an approach at the plate, have a plan, all these things that uh, um, helped me. I, I just needed to do more and work more um, on, on my, you know, my skills. All right, well, people can see much more of the, the Mariners in, in the heyday again, Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern on MLB Network. Edgar, uh, I know you'd like to get back to work, too. You're hitting advisor for the Mariners. Hopefully, uh, you're needed, and we're all needed. And baseball gets back out there very soon. And uh, if I don't see you then, we will see each other in Cooperstown, uh, not this year, but next year. Always a pleasure, Edgar. Thank you so much for joining us.